Hey everybody, and welcome to episode 135 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics arriving in stores on Wednesday, May 29th, 2013. Yes, we're outside of our normal in-store element once again. Uh, we're filming from our new second location that'll be opening up on June 29th, 2013. We talked about this last week. Uh, our books were delayed again by our distributor. Last week it was because of the Victoria Day holiday in Canada. This week it's because of Memorial Day in the US. We were still able to get our books out for our customers on Wednesday morning as usual, uh, but we usually have time the night before to film our video. So I'm filming it in the afternoon once again here at the new store. I wanna thank everybody for their congratulations on our second location uh, in the comments from last week's video. Uh, we really appreciate all of the uh, support that you've been able to give us over the last few years. And honestly, to tell you the truth, the awesome viewers that we have here on YouTube are a really big reason as to why we were able to uh, even expand to a second store in the first place. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you once again uh, for all your continued support. And I hope we can continue to provide you with uh, all kinds of comic related information long into the foreseeable future. Because we're filming this in the daytime, just like last week, Ricky's not here, unfortunately. He was really upset about not being able to be here today, but as we discussed, he does not come out when there is sunlight. He's kind of like a vampire in that respect. I want to remind everybody to check out our website, stadiumcomics.com, to see all the details that we've released so far about our free graphic novel day and second store opening on Saturday, June 29th, 2013. I do want to make an announcement regarding an artist for our free graphic novel day store opening event, and that is uh, X-Files Season 10 artist Michael Walsh will be in here to sign copies of his book X-Files Season 10, which comes out uh, a little later on in the month of June. I can't wait to see his X-Files stuff. I think it's about time that that franchise comes around and gets the comic treatment that it deserves. And if you read Comeback from Image Comics, uh, Michael Walsh was the artist on that series and it was fantastic. We're looking to have some other artists here on that day as well. We just need to uh, make sure that our space is going to be ready to accommodate everybody on that day. And uh, I think we'll have more information on that as time goes on. All right, enough chit chat. Let's get to all the cool stuff that came out this week. First up, we have this Spider-Man hashtag hipster shirt. Here's a retro Amazing Spider-Man Doc Ock Lives shirt. An awesome Infinity Gauntlet t-shirt. Wow, check out this incredible X-Wing uh, red foil t-shirt. Amazing. Got a new Walking Dead pop vinyl figure. This is the Tank Zombie. A new DC Comics Unlimited figure in the form of Aquaman, Darkseid. We've got an Injustice version of Superman and an Injustice Joker. Iron Maiden Hero Clicks. Let's open one of these guys up. This click, it's hard to see, but it is somewhere in time. We got our Fear Itself tournament kits today, and uh, I'd have to read up on it, but I think these are a little bit different in that the tournament boosters are different than the regular boosters. They even have this brick marked not for resale, so I'm not gonna go ahead and open one of these like I normally do, but I do have the entire tournament kit to show you, so, uh, the tournament kit comes with two bricks of tournament boosters. Comes with some cool Fear Itself themed maps. It comes with this uh, Fear Itself token that you'll use on the uh, Fear Itself Battlefields poster. There's this Kurtz Hammer object that will be used as participation prizes in tournament play. This uh, Book of the Scroll 3D object that will be also used as a participation prize. And if you play in the tournament, you'll be hoping to win one of these. It's Loki on a Hellwolf. Okay, we've got a bunch of new graphic novels to show you today, so let's move on to those. First up is Clone, Volume 1 from Image Comics. Then we've got a new printing of Spider-Man 2099, which I think is going to be significant because uh, Miguel is going to be coming back into the Spider-Man universe, from what I'm told. We've got Phantom Stranger, Volume 1 from DC. A reprinting of Lucifer, Book 1 uh, from the Sandman universe. This is new from DC today. It's Batman Noir, Eduardo Risso, the Deluxe Edition, and it collects a bunch of his Batman stories in one book. The pages inside are all black and white, so uh, just Eduardo Risso's pencils and inks. Collects stuff like a run on Batman that he did, uh, Flashpoint Batman Night of Vengeance, issues one through three, some stories from Wednesday Comics, and uh, some other stuff that he's worked on. Here's volume one of Deadpool from the Marvel Now relaunch in softcover. All new X-Men volume two hits shelves today. Thor God of Thunder Volume 1 is new in hardcover today. Superior Spider-Man Volume 1 gets a softcover treatment today. And here's Superboy Volume 2 from DC Comics. Moving on to the smaller press books, Transformers Prime Beast Hunters has two covers today. 
Here's G.I. Joe number four. King Conan number one, new from Dark Horse Comics today. Here is the King Conan variant cover. My Little Pony's micro series featuring Fluttershy has two covers today. Here they are. The Last of Us American Dreams issue number one gets a second printing today. And brand new to shelves is issue two of that comic. Danger Girl Trinity issue two gets this awesome J. Scott Campbell cover. Deathmatch from Boom Studios issue number six. And here's the Deathmatch number six virgin cover. Mind the Gap number 10 has two covers. Sonic the Hedgehog number 249 features part six of the crossover with Mega Man. And this is the game sprite variant. Morning Glories number 27 has uh, several covers today. Here are two of them. East of West number two gets a second printing. And here is the Adventure Time 2013 Annual number one. Here's the Adventure Time Annual variant. Chew number 34. Ninja Turtles number 22 gets two covers. Here's an awesome Shredder themed Ninja Turtles variant. Here's Thief of Thieves number 14. Lost Vegas issue three has two covers. And the big small press release today comes in the form of The Wake, issue number one, from Scott Snyder and Sean Murphy. And he's also done American Vampire and Severed and all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, it takes a stab at exploring the mysteries of the deep sea, much like our own Ricky Lima has. Uh, and then Sean Murphy's an incredible artist. You might know him from Punk Rock Jesus or Joe the Barbarian, which he did with Grant Morrison. And I'm really looking forward to checking out this book. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. I, I believe this is going to be a 10-issue series. You may have noticed the walls behind me today are white, and last week they were like a wood color. Uh, it's because we, we're in the process of painting this whole store, and these won't end up being white. They'll be a different color, but we've, we've primed it for painting right now, so that's, that's why they look white. It's, uh, it's an ongoing work in progress here. But anyway, on to the DC books. First up is Constantine, number two. This is a second printing. We've got a lot of annuals coming out this week. First is Earth 2 annual. Here's the Catwoman annual. Here's the Red Hood and the Outlaws annual. And Batman the Dark Knight annual. Smallville doesn't quite have an annual. They have a season 11 special. And this is a one shot. It's called Effigy. Injustice Gods Among Us number four gets a second printing. And here's issue five of Injustice Gods Among Us, new on shelves today. Justice League of America, issue number four. Here is the variant cover for that comic. And a book that, uh, while it was met with a lot of controversy when it's announced, uh, that I am really looking forward to, it's The Adventures of Superman, issue number one. Uh, the original controversy was over a story that was planned to be put in here with uh, Orson Scott Card as the writer who uh, has some controversial stances that a lot of people don't agree with. He's been temporarily removed from the book. Don't know if that, ever, that story will ever see the light of day. Well, we've got some great creators working on this. We've got Jeff Parker, Jeff Lemire, and Justin Jordan all writing stories in here. And we've got uh, Chris Somney, Jeff Lemire drawing his own story, and Riley Rossmo all contributing art to this. Uh, I took a flip through it. It looks fantastic. Uh, Jeff Lemire writing and drawing a Superman story. Never thought I'd see the day, but that's awesome. Here is the variant cover, brilliantly done by Chris Somney. And I guess it's time we should make an announcement. DC Comics and Warner Brothers has declared Wednesday, June 12th to be Man of Steel Day uh, at comic shops all across North America. And Stadium Comics isn't one to shy away from participating in such an awesome event. So we will be participating in addition to having issue one of Superman Unchained, which I think it's going to be like the biggest comic event of the year. We'll have lots of copies of that available, obviously. There's also going to be a free copy of All-Star Superman issue number one that DC and Warner Brothers is providing us to just give away to anybody who comes into the store that day, no strings attached. We're also going to have uh, our good friend Adam Gorham in the store uh, available to do sketches all day. And he's also going to be signing copies of his Aspen Comics Stadium exclusive, Bubblegun issue number one, which also happens to come out on June 12th. So lots of great things coming together to make for an awesome day here at Stadium Comics. Hope you guys can all check out that event. And if you can't make it into our store, at least try to go into your local comic shop and support them with a purchase of Superman Unchained issue number one. And hey, maybe pick up a free All-Star Superman issue number one as well. Okay, it's a big day for Marvel. So let's take a look at uh, what they've got hitting shelves today. First up is a second printing of Uncanny X-Men, issue number four, as well as a second printing of Age of Ultron, issue number five. Here's Dark Avengers, formerly Thunderbolts, 
Issue number 190, this is the final issue. Here is Gambit number 13, Morbius issue number 5, Wolverine and the X-Men number 30, Indestructible Hulk issue number 8, Venom number 35, New Avengers number 6, Captain America number 7, Uncanny X-Force number 5, Avenging Spider-Man number 21, Savage Wolverine number 5, and the big book out today from Marvel is X-Men issue number one. It's written by Brian Wood, illustrated by Olivier Koipel, and a lot of people looking forward to this. It's the all-female X-Men book. There's lots of great characters in here. I anticipate a lot of interest in this book. and We've got quite a few variants to show you. First up is the X-Men number one blank variant. Then we've got this awesome Scotty Young variant. Uh, We've got a treehouse and it says no boys allowed, so that's awesome. We've got an X-Men 50th anniversary variant with art by Joe Madeira. Here's a variant by Terry Dodson. Here is a Milo Manera variant cover. And this is a cool one from Arthur Sidum, he of Marvel Zombies cover fame. It is uh, Abbey Road, but zombie apocalypse version with Deadpool. All right, everybody, I just want to remind you that most of the books you saw today are available the same day as they're available in print through our digital comics web store powered by Comixology. You just head over to stadiumcomics.com, click on the links on the right-hand side of your screen, and you'll be taken to our digital web store for DC Comics or our digital store for all other publishers. We'd much rather you buy print comics from us or your local comic shop, but if you're going to buy digital anyway, might as well buy them from us. Every time you do, a couple cents gets kicked back our way so that we can afford things such as a new fresh painted coat on the wall behind me. And quickly, time's uh, running out before our new store opens on June 29th and I'm hoping that we can get everything together uh, in time for that, but we've got a lot of great people helping us, so uh, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Also want to remind you to check out our store exclusives uh, on our website, stadiumcomics.com exclusives. All of our Aspen Comics exclusive covers are available on there, including our Bubblegum number one, and uh, a book by a young Mr. Ricky Lima called Black Hole Hunters Club, available for purchase on there as well. So check that out. Now let's get to last week's contest. We were talking about Jeff John's final issue on Green Lantern and all of the achievements uh, that he had leading up to that final issue. Um, you know, bringing a character that had been considered obsolete back into existence and making just an awesome run of comics out of it. Uh, and I asked you which character or characters do you think exist out there that could uh, use a revamp like Hal Jordan got uh, a few years back. And the winner was TM Lara 66 who says, The Power Rangers. Interesting. Think about it. It's something a lot of people watch as kids and it's something that is yet to be able to be marketed to its past generation. What would it be like if they made an adult version? Can, can somebody check on that? Has, has there been a triple X parody version of Power Rangers yet? If not, get on that. I'm just kidding. Comic book format would be the best way to do that. I doubt there is a comic book reader that has not heard of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. What do you guys think of like a darker, uh, more hardened edge version of the Power Rangers? Would that be a cool comic? I kind of think it might be. So congrats TMLara66, you are the winner. Please send us your address in a private message and we'll get that book out to you as soon as we can. If you're waiting for a past prize, uh, fear not. We uh, are just about to round up a whole bunch of prizes and get them sent out to people uh, from episodes in the past. We've been kind of busy with Free Comic Book Day and acquiring and renovating this new store. So uh, thanks for your patience in waiting uh, to, to get your prize. But we always send them out. So. Uh, if you haven't received them yet, it won't be long now. This week's contest is tied into our upcoming live show. Yes, we are ready to announce a date for our live show. We've figured out the technology, kind of, of how to do that on YouTube. Uh, it won't happen on any other site or anything like that. It'll happen right here on YouTube. You'll be able to watch it. Uh, and then the cool thing about it is, is if you don't get to see it in person live, uh, it will be uh, available shortly after as a video for you to watch at your convenience right here on our channel. So that time is gonna be Monday, June 3rd at about uh, 9.30 p.m. Uh, Toronto time, local time here. Uh, so you'll have to see what that means for you in other parts of the world. And what we'd like you to do this week is, uh, it's a Q&A show, so ask any question about uh, Stadium Comics or myself or Ricky or anything that, you would, that you'd like to ask and uh, we will answer the questions for you live. We'll also figure out a mechanism uh, where if you have any uh, questions or comments you want to make during the live broadcast, 
we'll try to address those as well. It's going to be an interesting little experiment for us and, and something that, you know, if it, if it works well, that hopefully we can build upon and do more of in the future. So if you're able to make it out to that show, um, please do, and we'll try to give away something cool that night to the winner. All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. As always, please remember to check out all the other awesome shows on our channel. We've got a new previews magazine that's uh, new on shelves this week, so Ricky and I will be reviewing some of the cool items in here very shortly. You can connect with us using any of the websites you see listed here on the screen, and we'll see you all next time for episode 136 of Unboxing Wednesdays, hopefully being filmed back at our store, and hopefully with a co-host. I said this last week that we would have a co-host, but our supplier screwed us over again, so... I blame them. Take care, everyone, and enjoy your comics this week.